Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. In this lecture, we are going to learn about Hadoop block. What is block? What is the block size in Hadoop? How it is different from the normal file system like your Linux file system or Windows file system? How it help? How this block size help for Hadoop to store a huge amount of data? This is what we are going to learn with this lecture. Before I start with this lecture, I would request you to please do like, subscribe and share this channel. If you have any queries or any question related to the Hadoop Spark, you can put it into the comment section. My next video will be based on that. Again, if you are looking for Hadoop Spark training, you can reach out to me on my mobile number or on my email ID. So let's get started with the Hadoop block. We all know that Hadoop work into the master slave architecture in master we have name node is there so let me put the name node here and in the slave we have data nodes are there so let's assume that this is my data node 1 this is my data node 2 and we can have multiple data nodes right so this is my data node 3 now we are discussing about the block so we know that the Hadoop block size is 128 MB in starting from Hadoop 2 version and nowadays the current version of your Hadoop is 3 where also we have a Hadoop block size is 128 MB. If you want to change this 128 MB block size you can easily change that there is no problem. But why this 128 MB is the block size that is the next question. If you just talk about the Linux operating system the block size is 4 KB only. So compared to our normal Linux file system, this Hadoop file system block size is really, really huge. And that is 128 MB. Okay. Because Hadoop is a framework which has been designed to store huge amount of data. So we can have a data in terabytes also. Now we know that let's say you have a data available here in data node one. Okay. Let's say you have a file which is distributed getting over here. So these data nodes are basically a small, small block only. Okay. Let's assume that these are the block one, block two, block three and block four. Each block is of size 128 MB. So this block two is also of size 128 MB. And like this B1, B2, B3 and B4, all the blocks is of 128 MB. Now, if I want to store 1 GB of file which is 1024 MB so 1024 MB divided by 128 whatever output come let's assume that I think it will come around 9 I'm just assuming it can be less and then whatever it comes so it will consume 8 block okay so block 1 block 2 block 3 and block 4 likewise all the blocks will be utilized by this file again you know that there is a concept in the Hadoop, we call it as a fault tolerant. In fault tolerant means, basically whenever you are creating any file, <coughs> whenever you are storing any block, when, when you are saying that you want to store a data into this block, okay, automatically it will get copied to the another block. So it can be copied to the another block. So this is called the replication of your block, replication of your block. And this is why we call our Hadoop is a fault tolerant. So by any chance, if you miss this block, you still have a copy available in data node two and data node three. It is there because the default replication factor is three. Again, if you want to change this replication factor from three to two, two to four, you can do that. There is no problem. Now, when I'm saying that the block size is 128 MB, which is really big in size. Let's say I want to store my file of 1 GB. So basically it needs to store the metadata of 9 block only. 9 block. And who store the metadata information in the Hadoop? Your name node. So name node have the information about 9 block which store the information about that file like what is the file name what is the access level privileges okay all this information will get stored over here 
but now the question is if this block size is very small let's assume that the block size is only 1 MB so in order to store 1 GB of file you can assume that how much data name node you need to store how much metadata needs to be stored so 1 MB if it is a block size and the file size is 1 GB 1024 block it will consume 1024 why because if it is the block size is 1 MB now since it is a 1 128 MB only 9 block it is consuming only 9 block not 1024 block so there is a difference between 9 block and 1024 block so this is the important about the Hadoop block the Hadoop block size is 128 MB so that it can hold huge amount of data within this block again there is a specification about this block let's say you have a file of 2 MB you have a file of 2 MB and your block size is 128 MB your block size is 128 MB so it will consume only this file will take only this much block and rest of the block which is free will be utilized for the another file storage so it doesn't take whole of your file okay it doesn't take whole of your file so this is all about the Hadoop block size there are many things are there in the Hadoop block we are going to discuss this in the next video still now you can just subscribe to this channel please do like subscribe and share this channel with everyone and if you are looking for Hadoop spot training you can reach out to me thank you so much bye bye